Hey guys, it's Andrew Cartwright. We got some great stuff today. The market is up. Yes, even though Joe Manchin is not willing to sign that bill, we have really good news to cover, a lot of good news to cover today. As we're just days away from Christmas, I'm excited about this. These Americans are getting $250 a week, every two weeks for two years. I'm not kidding, $250 a week for two weeks, uh, for two years. And you could be one of them. I'm gonna talk about that. There's lots of programs around the country doing this, so I'm gonna cover that. Biden's Omnicom battle plans to include a half billion free at-home tests. So this will help support the overwhelmed hospitals that are overwhelmed at the moment. You guys liked my video on the four executive orders. I'm gonna recap that and what that means. If you missed it, no problem. We're gonna cover those four executive orders that Biden can do now that Manchin has all but killed his plan because um, we're, we're, we're up in the air about what's gonna come down. Now, it's not over for Manchin. He's getting a lot of pressure. Coal Miners Union are urging Biden, I mean, uh, Manchin to reconsider his opposition to Biden's plan. And of course, this is an amazing news. I own a lot of this stock, Hertz. Furious customers are suing, I read about that this morning, uh, $529 million, a lesson to the CEO that he should learn. So you're gonna hear how he got spanked. Guys, the stimulus checks are far from over. We've, we found some folks that are gonna get $5,000 next year, which next year is like nine days away or 10 days away. So hang on to your hats. These are people who are desperate and need the stimulus checks. So it's very exciting to talk about it. So I'm excited to cover it. Also, another $3,000 will be announced for a specific group of people as well. Find out how to get the $5,000 early next year. Who is getting $3,000? I sound like an owl. Who, who? And find out who's getting a bonus of $50. Okay, I know, but every little bit helps. 50 bucks is still 50 bucks. My name is Andrew Cartwright. I hope you guys are having a terrific t Taco Tuesday. Maybe it's a Tequila Tuesday. Tequila. Yeah, maybe it's that kind of day for you. I don't know. Hopefully, maybe it is or not. Could be a good or a bad thing. Here's your stimulus check, second stimulus check, four stimulus check, executive order, executive action for Tuesday, December 21st, 2021. My goal in these videos is to give you the best information to access both government and private money for yourself, loved ones, and of course, your business, if you have one. I have a lending platform up to $5 million. $5 million. Could be yours, credit lines, really inexpensive money, 12 different programs, 75 different partners, banks that I have. Capital Velocity has been around since 2009. Don't miss out if you need the funds. The rates are really good. Also, I have a real estate program, $99 for you. 36 videos, resource list, incredible. It's a $10,000 program. It's a limited, limited codes left. So make sure you get yours before it goes back up in price. Can't keep it this low forever. Um, I've spent $45 million learning what not to do. So this has all the cycles and how to even not use your own credit. It's, uh, you'll save so much money in real estate or make so much money just by having some of the knowledge. You could watch a video or two and it probably make it back by tenfold. So check it out. First two videos are free. Grab your free stocks down in the description, all kinds of stuff. Also, I'm giving away $2,000. All you gotta do, subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free, folks. Also, like the video. It helps out so much with the YouTube algorithm. If you enjoy the content, the, the most love you can give me is by smashing that like button. And when you throw a comment in the comment section, when I hit 200,000, when the channel hits, 200,000 subscribers, we're gonna launch out $2,000 to a lucky winner who's randomly picked from the comments. So I would love to give you that money. I hope you get it, we're almost there. So this channel is dedicated to personal finance, real estate, stock market, crypto credit, and other investments to generate income, save you money. I also have a second channel, a financial channel to help you make money. This channel is to help you get money. A channel is how to make money. It's the second channel, you can see it in the description. Some people are getting up to $5,000 in stimulus money from the IRS, so who is getting that money? Who, who's getting it? Let's say you had a child born in 2021. You haven't told the IRS or anybody about it. The chances are you didn't report it to the IRS. With that said, there's a high chance you opted, you opted to sign up for the monthly child tax credit that you didn't 
You, d you just like, was I supposed to do that? Maybe you didn't. Well, now you can. With these two things in mind, you will get $5,000 when you put the child down as a dependent on your tax return. You're like, no, Andrew, you're wrong. It's $3,600. That's all I'm getting. I'm not getting anything else. Well, you would have forgotten about the $1,400 for the third stimulus check in the form of the recovery rebate credit and the $3,600 for the full child tax credit. So both these things are there. Of course, that's if you fall within certain income thresholds. People earn up to $75,000 receive the full amount of EIP, as did married couples with an income of up to $175,000. The size of the checks were reduced for those making slightly more with, uh, you know, if you made more than that, they started scaling back the check. They cut it, the cutoff for the checks were $80,000. So if you made more than 80, you get nothing. And for uh, couples, it was $160,000. Pretty simple math. 80,000, if you make that, well, you don't count. 160 for a couple, don't count. Under this same qualification, there's a recovery rebate credit, which can also get, you can also get in 2022. When you file your 2021 taxes, I know 2021's not even over yet, but we're just, you know, we're getting out ahead of this thing. You know what I mean? Um, Rafael Trillio, IRS spokesman said, quote, the bottom line is that money that's going out almost immediately to millions of Americans as a tax credit, that's immediately, in advance of putting it on a tax return in the next year, end quote. It was great, right? It's like, we'll get you right away. Just, we're ready to go. Yep, their guns are loaded. That's what they've been saying. People are getting money. New people every week, it seems. So they're pushing it out. The IRS is all over it. They're like, hey, we've been, I know we've been messing up, but we're getting on it. So if in the comments you say that you're worried about or fed up that no money is coming your way, your time could come very soon. Yes, finally, so many of you in the comments have been saying that. For whatever reason, you just missed almost everything that was supposed to <clears throat> come your way. Meanwhile, people are getting $3,000 in stimulus funds. We're going to cover who's getting the $3,000. As I talked about before, college students have been collecting stimulus money or will get stimulus money in to help them pay for their basic needs. Uh, don't forget to stick around. I'm still covering the $250 every two weeks for two years. And don't forget those four executive orders that could put money in your pocket. So stick with me to the end, folks, um, because the good stuff is always at the end. Several universities and colleges have already sent aid money to students who are eligible and may um, are, many are getting money very soon. There are universities that plan to send the money sometime later this month. There's Duke University, which sends out $1,750 to $3,000 to its students late this month. According, I don't know how much later you can get. We're almost at the end of the month, right? According to the university's website, Duke will make the grant to eligible students to assist their education or emergency costs that have arisen during the coronavirus pandemic. The City University of New York will also be sending grants to, in December to students who meet specific requirements. Those eligible for grant money would have already been notified last month. So if you haven't been, you might wanna check. Were you left out? People will be getting that basic, the base amount that's that varies though by college and increases based on the needs using the estimated family contribution calculation and reported dependents for the students FAFSA and the fall of 2021 enrollment status. So don't miss out on this money. Lots of people are like, there's, there's so much money out there all over the place. The University of Rhode Island is also sending grant money to eligible students. It is likely that the eligible students would have already gotten the money as the university has supposed to send out those payments in November or early December and are a little late getting around to it. The University of Rhode Island got more than 15.5 million in grants from the American Rescue Plan, which a lot of places have money still, folks. States, 350 billion across the whole, all the states. Well, this past March of last year, and this money is still sticking around, eligible students would receive and have gotten $1,500 to $2,500 on the basis of their expected family contribution and the college credit they received, of course. So that's great news for these, those attending colleges, especially for those raising a family during the already financially strained times. And finally, we got 
three different stories to cover the $250 uh, every two weeks for two years, the four executive orders and the 50 bucks. So they're starting, a, if you're starting a family in 2021, there's more great news for people that had kids, right? Some Americans can qualify for the $50 payment if they have a newborn child. Yes, 50 bucks if you had a kid, uh, the payment is available to new parents in Massachusetts. This $50 payment is specific and given in the way of a benefit of a child's future. Yes, $50 will hopefully grow into something by the time they can use it. For any child that was born or adopted after January 1st, 2020, they're eligible for the $50 in U Fund 529 College Investment Plan Act. So I guess they want them to start this to be a catalyst to start saving uh, parents to probably add more money to that. Right now, there are lots of programs in the United States helping families who are still struggling from financial blows because of the pandemic. As always, love to hear your thoughts about the stories, all about those stories in the videos and also in the comments that you also entered to win $2,000, so it just makes sense. So what about these people that are gonna get $250 every two weeks for two years? Um, it's part of a UBI program. It's happening in many cities around the entire country. This one just now I'm going to report it's a new city that's coming up, but this is being tested. It obviously was tested around the world. They're trying to see if what they put in raises all the prices in that area by the UBI. And then, of course, it would defeat itself. So but to help people that are, you know, scraping bottom, having a tough time, New Jersey has 400 people that they're gonna test in a pilot program to see if it works. If UBI works, as many of you know, in the future, automation is gonna be taking a lot of jobs. Of obviously, autonomous driving cars, that shipping companies that won't need people to move stuff around, taxi cabs that drive themselves is coming online. They're already doing it in a lot of states. Those jobs are gonna displace a lot of people. So how do we handle the displacement? These programs are designed and put in advance. If you know anything about Andrew Yang, he ran on the platform of UBI for people that are in the situation being displaced from automation, which he sees is a tech guy in the future. So we'll see if these programs work and these test pilots are guinea pigs for no better, no other uh, thing to say than to see if it works. Now, about those executive orders, what could Biden do now that Manchin has put a fork in the new plan and says he's not going to vote on it. Well, Trump had the same problem when he had Nancy Pelosi, who was the Democrat that controlled the House, and Mitch McConnell with the Senate that controlled the Senate Republicans. We, we had a divided House, a divided Congress. As a result of that, Trump was watching the economy tank and knew that people needed stimulus money. So he used his executive power, which shocked Mitch McConnell, and it shocked Nancy Pelosi. In fact, they said they were going to sue him for the executive orders. That was a big concern, but they didn't, and it went through, and it helped millions of people. So Biden has the same tools. Now, it's been over a year. It was August 10th, 2020, when this monumental executive, four executive orders were passed, and Biden has the same thing. Now, most Presidents don't like to do what other presidents done because they don't want to, they want credit for themselves. But maybe enough times passed. We had a new stimulus bill that was announced last week that was right after the Build Back Better, which Build Back Better is stuck now. So we've got a stimulus bill out here, and then we've got Build Back Better here, and they need to handle this before they can get to any kind of stimulus. So he does have the power, the executive branch, to do four executive orders that have already proven to be done. What are those? And you might remember them. We're going to cover them. The first is the extended coronavirus relief, the disaster relief for unemployment insurance benefits, raising unemployment to the point where people could actually pay their bills, adding that extra money on there so that they could cover their bills if they were truly unemployed because of the virus. Payroll deferment tax. As you know, they take about 30% out of your check, right? When your check goes, you get, a, you get paid a dollar, you get 70 cents of it. Well, they deferred that payroll tax so that, well, you got a full check, which increased your income by as much as 30%. That pushed forward and gave people that were working an increase in pay. 
Payroll tax deferral was awesome. Student loan repayments, they stopped that and they also had an eviction moratorium so that if you didn't have to pay rent or, and it hurt a lot of people, it's controversial, but it was something that was put in place. We don't know how bad this virus is gonna be. We've got some better news that's happened today that has reduced and subsided some of the bigger concerns that we had about the spread of this because now they're saying it spreads four times faster than the original virus. So we'll see what happens, especially since we're going into the holidays and people will be gathering. It's no telling what will happen. What these four executive orders ultimately cost, it costs the federal government 75% of the bill and states pay 25% of the bill. So, and we managed and we're still managing. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Love you. Take care.